Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're looking at comfort in the scriptures and we're looking at the second part of um, this series. Uh, just giving uh, scriptures really that can be a comfort to you in your walk with the Lord. So let's come before the Lord and ask His blessing. Lord, we come before you today and we confess all our sin and Father we pray that these scriptures would be a blessing to all you hear them may it be an encouragement to them and a help to them we ask this Lord in your name and for your glory Amen <laughs> 1 Corinthians 10:13. God is faithful he will keep the temptation for from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it sorry yeah God is faithful he will keep the temptation from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it when you are tempted he will show you a way out so that you will not give in to it Matthew 6 9 our father deliver us from the evil one uh, and 6 13 2 Peter 2 9 the Lord knows how to rescue godly people um, from their trials Psalm 23 4 I will not be afraid for you are close beside me Psalm 51 2 purify me from my sin Isaiah 1 18 come now let us argue this out says the Lord no matter how deep the stain of your sins I can remove it I can make you as clean as freshly fallen snow Isaiah 53 5 he was wounded and crushed for our sins he was beaten that we might have peace 1 John 1 9 if we confess our sins to God he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong John 6:68. 6, you alone have the words that give eternal life John 3:16-17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it but to save it. Romans 3.22 We are made right in God's sight when we trust in Jesus Christ to take away our sins. And we all can be saved in the same way no matter who or what we have done. Just, uh, just checking something there. So. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me. Psalm 27 9. Matthew 11 28. Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. John 6 37. Those the Father have given me will come to me, and I will never reject him. John 6:35 I am the bread of life no one who comes to me will ever be hungry again those who believe in me will never thirst Isaiah 44:22 the Lord says I have swept away your sins like the morning mist I have scattered offenses like the clouds I have paid the price to set you free Isaiah 50 uh, Psalm 51 verse 1 blot out the stains of my sins Psalm 103 verse 10 and 11 The Lord has not punished us for all our sins nor does he deal with us as we deserve for his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth Psalm 103 verse 10 and 11 Christ died for our sins once and for all time he never sinned but he died for sins that he might bring us safely home to God 1 Peter 3.18 I have wandered away like a lost sheep come and find find me Ephesians 2.13 now you belong to Christ Jesus though you once were far away from God now you have been brought near to him because of the blood of Christ Romans 8.1 now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus 1 Peter 5 7 give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about what happens to you Psalm 17 8 hide me in the shadow of your wings 
Hebrews 13 5 God said I will never fail you I will never forsake you Psalm 28 7 the Lord is my strength my shield from every danger I trust in him with all my heart he helps me Psalm 121 verse 5 7 and 8 the Lord himself watches over you the Lord stands beside you as your protective shade the Lord keeps you from all evil and preserves your life the Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go both now and forever Psalm 121 verse 5 7 and 8 Psalm 16 1 keep me safe O God for I have come to your to you for refuge Isaiah 26 3 you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you whose thoughts are fixed in you Ephesians 1 7 God is so rich in kindness that he purchased our freedom through the blood of his son and our sins are forgiven Ephesians 1 7 Psalm 51 7 purify me from my sins and I will be clean wash me and I will be whiter than snow Isaiah 4 12 there is salvation in no one else there is no other name in all heaven for people to call on to save them John 1 29 John saw Jesus coming towards him and said Luke there is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world 1 John, John chapter 1 29 John 16 47 Jesus said I assure you anyone who believes in me already has eternal life Psalm 51 10 create in me a clean heart 2 Corinthians 6 2 God is ready to help you right now today is the day of salvation Matthew 15 25 Lord help me Isaiah 41 13 I am holding you by your right hand I the Lord your God and I say to you do not be afraid I am here to help you the Lord says even I am the one who comforts you Isaiah 51 12 and Jesus said I will not abandon you as orphans I will come to you John 14 18 Isaiah 25 4 to the poor O Lord you are a refuge from the storm to the needy in, in distress you are a shelter from the rain and the heat I hope that's been a blessing to you and may God bless you and it says the Lord is a shelter for the oppressed a refuge in time of trouble the law that's Psalm 9 verse 9 I will put my hope in God Psalm 42 5 the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear him Psalm 103 17 I hope that's a blessing to you and uh, we'll now close in prayer con concerning those scriptures Lord Jesus Christ we thank you for this day and we thank you for your love I pray for all those who have heard the readings in these words that they will be comforted that they will be encouraged and strengthened in their walk with you take away their stress and their burdens Lord and comfort them today in Jesus name Amen. Hope that's been a blessing to you and see you soon. God bless.